and Smadra is going to be way out in front, right? The OD will be far enough back that he shouldn't be caught. They're actually going to just straight up initiate onto Madara as he goes into the high ground, forcing to a rage, and will manage to grab him with the last of the pullback. Firefly not being used because they didn't want to stop playing Spike Care Base. Madara is now all the way back behind the tier 4 towers, has to manta himself in order to get away with the help of the Moonlight Shadow. They will lose both the Rubik and the Nyx Assassin with this Lifestealer almost going down. It's a little bit of curse. In fact, he's being chased still by the Alchemist, but up in the background, it's going to wear out, though. And look for the arrow by, ooh, on the back line. There's a jump forward. They actually managed to blow up the Rubik immediately. Now, Yao's going to be targeted with the Dagon, but does manage to force himself over the cliff. Dog comes forward. They do manage to get that kill. The Aegis is gone for the Lifestealer as well. He's going to come back. And LFY are not going to fight just yet. Yule Scepter into an arrow here. It's going to come a little bit late, but it'll end instead. They actually try and go for Super. Now turn on the end, but he pops the Enrage. He'll be okay. The two Lifesteal Illusions will be the target of an unstable concoction. Well, the rest of Ad Venom focus on that melee Rax. LFY forced back to the fountain. Will concede this melee Rax for now. And the range looks like will fall by like a Sand King into an Ursa double blink initiation. So, like, because the lanes can't be pushed out, I think I have to play very, very safe. Oh, Spartan's not going to make it out. That TP almost complete, but Yao catches him first. So, that will be a pickoff. That smoke and it's for a five position Rubik. They actually going to try and save him. Look at him. Thugs coming forward with the imprisonment, but now he just gives himself up. He pulls himself into five members of LFY. A global silence goes down because they expect so much more. Potter will be forced into a Manta and starts running himself away. Can he actually be caught here? LFY give up. And members of LFY sitting around the Ancients. Now, they don't know this. We, of course, know it's not going to be another two minutes, but this staging may boil into a break. They actually get the initiation. Telekinesis is on the bat right there. Try and get a jump first onto him. That's going to be sinking inside the pit down, but at the same time, Life Stealer, he's on the wrong side of a cliff he will be saved by imprisonment he's gonna be able to come back out he has his best ready to go he does manage to turn he's gonna fight up to the end they managed to steal the last zone they're gonna be able to pop him abyssal blade goes down a four staff manages to save up madara on the left hand side a an imprisonment from the od buys himself time is now in an stable concoction super will go down once again he dies to his own stun Four down from LFY, a buyback only on the Alchemist. That fight could have gone so close either way. Thumps. And this is looking like a second lane of Rax. Ten seconds till the Bat Rider, but no lasso for 13. Alchemist is actually going to try and charge forward. They go straight for the OT, and they manage to snag Thug. They're going to be able to bring him down. The Sun comes out for the Impale. They manage to catch N and has to pop his own BKB. Nice double stun from Yao. That'll stun off Madara, but they still manage to get a good style by the Super. Shao Wei dropping low. Maybe next time comes in, finish him off. The nukes are there. Super battling it out for the epicenter. Comes in. Madara still raids. He didn't hit the stun. And in fast pop out, unstable concoction. Arrow blocked in. Maybe next time jump forward they finish off now a push forward super stuck in the trees they just pull this down lfy are gone game three is out and it's for the taking damn